Night and day, there is a business revolution in the air in Africa. Cheap air travel. And it's landing in more and more countries. More than a third of this company's passengers are first-time flyers, and more are queuing up. The growth in low-cost airline passengers reflects a change in the economy. There are more middle-class Africans who are hungry to travel more quickly and across the African continent. And if airlines can open up new routes for them, then they in turn may bring investment to new places. Tanzania's Fastjet is eyeing up new routes to Zambia and South Africa, and they've already opened a base in Zimbabwe. Air travel connects people, it connects business, it creates economic value, it creates not just jobs in the industry, it creates ancillary jobs, and it brings wealth and it brings trade. And inside Tanzania's Julius Nyerere International Airport, there are plenty of passengers who say they are benefiting. We used to travel for, for 12 hours, 24 hours in the bus, but now you only use one hour, two hours, you, you are at the des destination. So, I mean, we're lucky, we're happy, we enjoy. We are happy that it has come. We, are, we, we save a lot. There are certain little hidden costs like baggages and things like that, but yes, it makes it affordable. Kenya's national airline has launched its own cheaper brand, which made a profit this year. But low-cost airlines still face challenges of high costs, government bureaucracy and fuel taxes. They may be in for a bumpy ride, but they believe they're about to take off. Dan Ashby, CCTV in Tanzania.